continue to bring out horse after horse at this top level, whether it's Codex One, Talib Z as his leading rides, and many others as well. Yes. keeps coming in with the firepower again uh, again you could bring out the donkey and he could make it jump this <laughs> <laughs> incredible rider and work ethic and training and everything he does is yeah. just magnificent you could safely say he doesn't sit on any donkeys <laughs> 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 no but i'm sure he had his time when he was a young young lad all these great riders had to ride horses that were a little less than this yeah on the Longines World Rankings. It's been on it. That's Simon Balest, who's in the field here this week as well. Top three all with us. The, the control he has with the stride and the shape of the track is yeah. just fabulous. is such a big part of the sport. Yeah. The the rider and the horse and the, the timing of when you ask them to do something or try and help them. That's really what separates the grades. But I think if you watch any top sportsman, any sport, they always look like they've got all the time in the world. Yes, it's all happening very slowly for them, yeah. There we go. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, no, Love it. I'll take that one. 83.95 it is, uh, clear there, door rankings on this 30-year-old uh, colorist. The name is great. Yeah. With all the color on the neck and the shoulder. Yeah. Coriano out of a capital mare. Keeps bringing out fantastic horses, but you know, so many, so many people look and go, well, you know, the top riders they get lots of good horses. Well, one they're good at finding them, but two they produce them so well, don't that? Uh, exactly, uh, exactly. It's it's all about having depth in the young horses and, yeah. and bringing them along and training them the way you want as you go, and and then that's why you see these top riders always with with horses coming yeah. eight, seven, eight, nine year olds and. Uh, that's really the name of the game because it's it's hard to go out and buy a, a horse right now that jumps meter 60. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So many uh, riders are looking for the same horse, so you're really ahead of the game if you have uh, young horses coming along. And it's and it's you know for you guys at this level, you you want a horse at that stage so you can have it going how you want it. I had the same conversation with Scott Brash the other day. So you, you're always picking up sort of six, seven hours. You never buy a, a ready-made one. It's, no, because I want it how yeah, I want exactly. it. To take the raw talent and produce it how I want it. And it just takes so long to, to get to know a horse and yeah. to, to have a partnership. So you're better off growing with the horse yeah. and then not, nothing's a surprise. You know what's happened along it's the way too. Again, Chris, Christian Allman making it look easier than everybody yes. else makes it look. But again, for, as we talked about it, I mean, a long course, but people like Christian, you'll see will be fairly economical in there so that they do leave something in the tank for the horse because hopefully they've got another right round to come yet. Exactly. Yeah, that's what you feel like. You feel like he's using just the right amount of energy. Yeah. Got it out in front of him again. We're not done yet. Yeah, there we go. And uh, puts himself into the jump off as well. So it'll take.